تعجل بالقرآن من قبل أن يقضى إليك وحيه وقل رب زدني علما When the night of al-Isra wal-Mi'raj occurred, did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam see Allah? هل رأى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ربه ليلة الإسراء والمعراج هي but did you see Allah so did he see Allah you don't want to say no but now you said no I but did he see Allah then no. Ah, you were saying something. So you're saying no as well. <coughs> so what about Ibn Abbas? Hmm. So there's a statement. Many of the people of innovation try to use it. Qadi and the likes, they try to use this as an example that the companions differed in Aqeedah. Isn't that something about Aqeedah? Seeing Allah on the night of Al-Isra Al-Mi'raj, is it not Aqeedah? Whether the messenger saw Allah or not, it's Aqeedah. Ibn Abbas said yes. Aisha said anybody who says he did is a liar. So there's a few points there. First, the yes, it is an aspect of Aqeedah. However, in Aqeedah, you have the core beliefs and aspects of Aqeedah. Then you have the branches, the furu'ah. With this topic, what is the core? Regarding the seeing of Allah, the core of it is the believers and the seeing of Allah on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. That is the core of the Aqeedah. Whenever you come to the topic of seeing Allah, it is about the believers and seeing Allah on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, etc. The issue of the night of Al-Isra Al-Mi'raj is a subsidiary of this issue. It is a branch from this issue. Did the messenger see Allah that night or not? But that isn't the core. The core is about seeing Allah on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. That is the Aqeedah, the basis. So firstly, even, even if this is upon the assumption or uh, assuming that yes there's a difference of opinion between Ibn Abbas and Aisha even if even if and it's not but even if it was we would say they did not differ upon the core of Aqeedah the usul of Aqeedah this is a, a far'i issue it is a branch it is a uh, subsidiary so you could still not say that the companions differed in Aqeedah even if we say that there's a difference between them and there isn't, because the scholars have explained with different explanations. Some of them have mentioned about the two types of sight. There is the sight of the heart, ru'ya al qalbiya, and the other one which is of the eyes, the ru'ya qalbiya. That is where it is a comprehension or an understanding or a recognition of something. Whereas the sight of the eyes is the clear sight of the eyes. So when Ibn Abbas was affirming that the messenger saw Allah, he was talking about the vision of the heart. And with Aisha radiallahu anha, when she said anybody who says the messenger saw Allah is a liar, meaning anybody who says the messenger saw Allah with his eyes, the sight of the eyes is a liar. So there's no contradiction anyway. And there's other explanations of that too.